Good morning, children. It's Joel Powell Brown. It's uh, February 20th. And uh, update on the Puddle Star. I uh, <coughs> cranked it up this morning as opposed to yesterday when you'd turn it on and the one motor would cog never would spin and the way it's wired in is there's no way to uh, there's no way to separate the ESC's I thought by swapping lines I could swap ESC's but there's no real easy way of doing that. Stabilization on. So uh, as such, I just let it sit overnight. Came back to it, and uh, this morning, Switch motor spins Travel just fine. So. If you'll recall, I ended up plugging, I don't know, man, probably about 50 flights back. I plugged, uh, forgive me, I'm a little disjointed here. I plugged one of those uh, ESCs in backwards when I plugged in a wing. And uh, it melted solder melted a line loose from the power line but when I plugged everything back up it uh, flew just fine until it didn't <laughs> so, so what we have here is uh, probably a bad ESC I ordered two new uh, ESC's at 20 something bucks a piece sometime back but I ordered like a what they call a 4D version I don't know, it may have reverse or something on it. Holy crap, it's ornate. In fact, uh, Dale made mention of it, that I ordered the posh ones. So I reordered the regular uh, Joe Six Pack butt crack version that is on there from uh, Amazon. It'll be there tomorrow. So I'll just go ahead and do uh, surgery on it. What else? Speaking of Dale, I've discovered some videos that I didn't know he did nine days ago. That must have been when my buddies were here. I kind of shut the world down and pay attention to uh, actual humans uh, who are in front of me rather than uh, in the virtual world. What else? Um, it was 41 degrees this morning one of our last cool snaps and uh, yeah holy moly enough of that foolishness in fact it's only about 48 right now let's go do this let's go plug in mr. battery the uh, table here then we'll go down to the dock and stand in the sun because it's effing cold as made mention before getting a, a wee bit jazz about leaving in 35 days my wife is uh, burning up Amazon on the way out. We are going to have to do weights and measures here pretty soon. We uh, are going to get gigged. <laughs> okay, I got rudder. I like that. What else? What else? 
Yeah, there's only a few of us that fly uh, this time of year on the thread. Um, Dale and uh, Jeff, on occasion, uh, sand crab, who humor humorously is getting used to, uh, wait a minute, they used to have a bunch of crap right there. I guess they got rid of it. I think I know why. I think somehow the new, that property over there where I ran my stuff into the tree, they, uh, I think their property juts over right here somehow. Yeah. Oh, I know, uh, the saga of the tire, what I call first world problem only. Oh, oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're good. Hold on. Don't panic. Telemetry lost. What is going on with my onboard camera? Come on. Well, I got a card in there. Bear with, boys. Let's figure out what's going on with my camera. Twelve point six volts. See if I can not zing this thing out onto the deck. to reformat my card when I get home. Oh, there we go. I popped it in and popped it out. That'll do it. So, um, I go to the dealership and I lean on them dudes to bounce my tires. I pay them Quite the fee, by the by. Throttle active. Throttle active. 12.6 volts. And, uh, sure enough, they don't balance. It rattles my teeth. So we do two balancing in one day. And, uh, nothing on the second balance and I come back a few days later and uh, third balance it's just it's worse than the previous balances so I um, have having had experience with this in Maine where they try to balance my tires over the I think I mentioned uh, nine and a half hours it took them over the course of like three days and finally the uh, the uh, service advisor is frustrated you know I'm not I'm task oriented not, no, but I'm still human and I uh, also uh, am about over it y'all need to figure this out and uh, Sure enough, the uh, head of service is smart. He has me go over to um, the local uh, truck company for Ford, who who actually they do uh, semi trucks. Ford has semi trucks. Who knew? And uh, ends up balancing them just fine. So it occurred to me that they're suffering at these dealers where they just can't uh, get either between proper help or I think they're even leasing these tire machines. And the tire machines ain't worth killing. 11.7 volts. So, uh, yeah. Got my tires balanced. Holy crap, I know that seems trite, perhaps, but the reality is, is uh, I travel great distances and it, it 
is, is one of the few things that drive me absolutely berserk in this life is to have an unbalanced tire. It creates unbelievable driver fatigue for me. So, uh, homie don't like that. And it's so nice that I'll be able to stick the truck back in the gate uh, when we leave here in 35 days. And when I come home, I know that uh, when it's time to leave for Maine five days later, tail's wagging the whole time, that uh, I've got a proper uh, tow vehicle. Crap. In fact, I might love on that thing this afternoon. We'll see. I was thinking about washing the truck and going ahead and waxing it. That is not on my list, but uh, I'd like to honor my truck that way. Speaking of honoring my truck, I still have a slightly bent tailgate. I was going to buy a new tailgate. In fact, you, it's really kind of cool. They wanted $2,500 to do the tailgate uh, at these places that I go. And I found out that uh, you can buy the whole tailgate painted now off of uh, Amazon for about uh, 600 bucks and what I would do is just harvest my uh, parts my existing parts off of my uh, existing tailgate but I might save that I might do it up in uh, Maine or just wait, I'm going to be home next year or more. And just do it next year. The tailgate works, it's just a little ugly. I even thought about buying uh, from Amazon. They sell those uh, heavy duty suction cups and I might be able to suction out one of the bigger dents that's in it. I'm pretty sure I can do that. Icon. So of course, shout outs to the aforementioned Dale, uh, George, whose uh, bride is uh, Two minutes. suffering just unbelievable loss. Um, Rick, who I on occasion forget, but he's not forgotten. Ooh, 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 ooh. M. Finn, who is uh, having to deal with life. Ox, who never watches my videos, but he and I see each other on Facebook, and uh, I hope his wife is better and. I'm also uh, pleased that he uh, had some stuff cut off of him that uh, will extend his life. It is funny that One minute. I joke the only reason he's flying is because he got a piece of something cut off his head and he can't put a helmet on <laughs> for motorcycling. It's funny. Not funny that he got something cut off, but the circumstance. Who else is on there that looks at my stuff? Anybody? Beautiful clean. 30 seconds. Oh, we got more than 30 seconds. For whatever reason, I put a seven minute timer on here. I need to eliminate that. This thing will fly for 15 minutes. 20 seconds. But yeah, up at 4 a.m. Uh, they were first come, first serve at the tire shop. So up at 4 a.m. And I slept Seven, great two, until 4 a.m. By the by. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Oh, Steve one. flies low, Tyler, one. the sand crab. It occurred to me that I think I might have inspired him in his, uh, I know I did, in his uh, handle on RCG, his new handle, sand crab. He's uh, getting versed in uh, ELRS and all things associated. Going through that uh, learning curve, which is a complete joy but yeah you know once you accomplish it and it's good for you honestly it really is i think it's good for your cognitive